Hello, it's Mr. Toops, and you're at George Ranch High School at the Always Believe Room. And today, we're going to go over your first test review. Okay, so let's pull up the problems. We're going to do three of these problems together. And you'll do the rest. Okay. So right here, what did I teach you? The, or the day before, we learned to move the smallest letter, right? So right here, my smallest letter is 5P. So I'm going to move the 5P across. And 6P minus 5P is just P, right? And so my negative 8 plus P equals, and this 5 right here cancels out negative 2 in it. Now then, this is where you get on your calculator. You're going to type this number in first on your calculator. What's the opposite of minus 8? You're going to move that across. It's plus 8. So on your calculator, you would punch negative 2 plus 8, and you would get 6. Now then, on this problem, there's no number here, is there? So you don't have to divide. So that's the answer. Okay, so remember, get the equation to where it looks like this. Type this number in. Add or subtract that number across, and then divide by the coefficient. So negative 2 plus 8, enter, and then you don't have to divide. Okay? Well, let's go down and do number... Five. So on number five, we're going to take the negative seven and distribute it. Okay, we're going to scratch this one out. Now then let's drop the negative 28. Plus five n equals negative four n. Negative seven times four is negative 28. And negative 7 times negative 8 is a plus 56n. Okay, so we're right here. Now then, I can't combine this yet because I have two letters over here. So I need to group these letters together. So negative 28 plus 5n equals negative 4 plus 56 is a 52n minus 28. I do that right. Negative 4n plus 56. 56 minus 4 is 52. I have negative 28 and negative 28 plus 5. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, now then, what's my smallest letter here? My smallest letter is the 5N, so I'm going to move it across. I can't use the calculator yet, can I? Negative 28 equals 47N minus 28. Okay, so this is the first number I'm going to type in on the calculator. So I'm going to type in negative 28, and I'm going to move this number across. The opposite of minus 28 is plus 28 in it. And what's going to happen to the numbers? Ooh, I did that backwards. I'm sorry. Got to do this over. I did that on purpose to see if you're paying attention. This is the number you're going to type in, right? So you type in the number all by itself, right? Because the letter's on the right. Sorry about that. I see if you were paying attention there. Oh, 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 oh. So we're going to take this number and move it across. And what's going to happen to the 28s? They're going to cancel out, right? If the letters cancel out, then you're going to do 0 divided by 47, and you will get 0. So if your numbers cancel out, but you still have a letter, your answer's not no solution or all real numbers, it's going to be 0 because you're going to punch 0 divided by 47. So on this problem, you would punch negative 28 in the calculator. You would punch plus 28. And then you would hit divide by 47, and your calculator would say zero. Let's go to number nine. Okay, so on number nine, we have to distribute on both sides, don't we? So we're going to put negative six, negative six, and negative six, and negative six. So our bluebell trucks are negative six. So negative six times three is negative 18. And then a negative six times a negative eight is a plus 48K equals a negative 6 times 1 is a negative 6, and a negative 6 times a negative 7 is a plus 42K. So we're right here, aren't we? Now then, what's our smallest nut letter? Our smallest letter is the 42 in it. So I'm going to take the 42 and move it across. And I'm going to get negative 18 plus 6K equals negative 6. 48 minus 42 is 6. Now then, what number will I type in the calculator? The letter's over here, so I'm going to type this number into the calculator. And I'm going to do negative 6. I'm not going to do minus 18. I'm going to move this over and put a plus 18, and that's going to give me a 12. Then on the calculator, I'm going to have the 12 on the calculator. I'm going to hit the divide by and punch 6 in. 
and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So remember, when you get to right here, use the calculator. Type this number in, do the opposite operation, add or subtract them, and then hit divide by your coefficient, and bam, you got the answer. Your test is going to be soon. You're going to do very good on it. Remember to always believe, and you are awesome.